Salman Abraham Waxman was a Ukrainian-born, Jewish-American inventor, biochemist and microbiologist whose research into organic substances largely into organisms that live in soil and their decomposition promoted the discovery of streptomycin, and several other antibiotics. A professor of biochemistry and microbiology at Rutgers University for four decades, he discovered over 20 antibiotics and introduced procedures that have led to the development of many others. The proceeds earned from the licensing of his patents funded a foundation for microbiological research, which established the Waxman Institute of Microbiology located on Rutgers University's Bush campus in Piscataway, New Jersey, USA. In 1952 he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in recognition for his discovery of streptomycin, the first antibiotic active against tuberculosis. Waxman was later accused of playing down the role of Albert Schatz, a Ph.D. student who did the work under Waxman's supervision to discover streptomycin. In 2005 Selman Waxman was granted an ACS National Historical Chemical Landmark in recognition of the significant work of his lab in isolating more than 15 antibiotics, including streptomycin, which was the first effective treatment for tuberculosis. Biography Selman Waxman was born on July 22, 1888, to Jewish parents, in Nova Priluka, Podolaya Governorate, Russian Empire, now Vinnytsia Oblast, Ukraine. He was the son of Fradia, London, and Jacob Waxman. He immigrated to the United States in 1910, shortly after receiving his matriculation diploma from the Fifth Gymnasium in Odessa, and became a naturalized American citizen six years later. Waxman attended Rutgers College, now Rutgers University, where he was graduated in 1915 with a Bachelor of Science, B.Sc., in Agriculture. He continued his studies at Rutgers, receiving a Master of Science, M.Sc., the following year. During his graduate study, he worked under J.G. Lippmann at the New Jersey Agricultural Experiment Station at Rutgers performing research in soil bacteriology. Waxman was then appointed as research fellow at the University of California, Berkeley from where he was awarded his Doctor of Philosophy, Ph.D., in biochemistry in 1918. Later he joined the faculty at Rutgers University in the Department of Biochemistry and Microbiology. It was at Rutgers that Waxman's team discovered several antibiotics, including actinomycin, clavicin, streptothricin, streptomycin, grian, neomycin, fredicin, candicidin, candidin, and others. Two of these, streptomycin and neomycin, have found extensive application in the treatment of numerous infectious diseases. Streptomycin was the first antibiotic that could be used to cure the disease tuberculosis. Waxman is credited with coining the term antibiotics, to describe compounds derived from other living organisms such as penicillin, though the term was first used by the French dermatologist François-Henri Halopo, in 1871, to describe a substance opposed to the development of life. Many awards and honors were showered on Waxman after 1940, most notably the Nobel Prize in 1952, the Star of the Rising Sun bestowed on him by the Emperor of Japan, and the rank of commander in the French Legion d'honneur. Selman Waxman died on August 16, 1973 and was interred at the Crowell Cemetery in Woods Hole, Barnstable County, Massachusetts. His tombstone is inscribed simply as Selman Abraham Waxman, scientist, followed by his dates of birth and death, and the phrase the earth will open and bring forth salvation in Hebrew and English which is a reference to Isaiah 45, 8. He was the father of Byron Waxman, involved in multiple sclerosis research. Other little-known contributions of Selman Waxman include anti-fouling paints for the Navy, the use of enzymes in detergents, and the use of Concord grape root stock to protect the French vineyards from fungal infection. Streptomycin Waxman had been studying the streptomyces family of organisms since his college student days and had for a time, been studying the organism Streptomyces gruis. Streptomycin was isolated from S. gruis and found effective against tuberculosis by one of Waxman's graduate students, Albert Schatz. Controversy The details and credit for the discovery of streptomycin and its usefulness as an antibiotic were strongly contested by Schatz, 
eventually leading to litigation. Waxman and Rutgers settled out of court with Schatz, resulting in financial remuneration and entitlement to legal and scientific credit as co-discoverer of streptomycin. Systematic experiments to test several strains of antibiotic against several different disease organisms were underway in Waxman's laboratory at the time. Their classic approach was to explore a complete matrix with rows consisting of antibiotics and columns consisting of different diseases. The bacteria which produced the antibiotic streptomycin was discovered by Schatz in the farmland outside his lab, and tested by him. Waxman, however, eventually came to claim sole credit for the discovery. Neomycin Neomycin is derived from actinomycetes and was discovered by Waxman and Hubert A. Lecce Valier, one of Waxman's graduate students. The discovery was published in the journal Science. Nobel Prize Waxman was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1952 for his discovery of streptomycin, the first antibiotic effective against tuberculosis. In the award speech, Waxman was called one of the greatest benefactors to mankind, as the result of the discovery of streptomycin. Schatz protested being left out of the award, but the Nobel Committee ruled that he was a mere lab assistant working under an eminent scientist. In 1951, using half of his personal patent royalties, Waxman created the Waxman Foundation for Microbiology. At a meeting of the Board of Trustees of the Foundation, Held in July 1951 he urged the building of a facility for work in microbiology, named the Waxman Institute of Microbiology, which is located on the Bush campus of Rutgers University in Piscataway, New Jersey. First president of the foundation, Waxman was succeeded in this position by his son, Byron H. Waxman, from 1970 to 2000. The Selman A. Waxman Award in Microbiology of the National Academy of Sciences is given in his honor.